Hello everyone, welcome back. <clears throat> in this video, I'm going to show you how to install AD Connects with the path through authentication configuration. First of all, I need to download the AD Connect installation file. Let's type in AD Connect installation. Should be the top one here. <clears throat> so I'm going to click download, download Azure AD Connect. Click download. So it looks like I downloaded it previously. That's why you see a one um, here. So I'm going to launch install, run. Confirm. Confirm again. <clears throat> so he is welcome to AD Connect. Welcome to Azure AD Connects. I'm going to click Agree. I'm going to use Customize Installation. I can choose Specify Custom Location. <coughs> Installation location, use existing SQL if I want to use the uh, SQL Server. I'm just going to click install. It's going to take a few minutes here. You can fast forward if you want. I'm just going to pause the video for a minute. All right, we're back. So I'm going to choose the pass through authentication. And I'm going to select enable sign on. Enable single sign on. Click next. I'm going to put in the Azure AD, uh, the uh, Office 365 portal um, global admin credential. I'm going to click next. I'm going to add the directory. This is the only directory for us I have. I'm going to use my existing domain credential. Click OK. So see it's green here. I'm going to click Next. All right, looks good. I'm going to click next. 
I'm going to limit to the my user account OU, which is other users. I'm going to click next. I'm just going to sync everything, change my mind on that one. <coughs> everything looks good here. I'm going to click next. Synchronize all user and devices. <coughs> if I'm going to set up the Exchange Hybrid deployment, I, I have to uh, check this box. So in this case, I don't have Exchange on-prems. Everything should be unchecked. I don't have email on-prems. So if you have password right back or anything like that, you can enable it. In this case, I'm not going to enable anything here. Click next. Enter my credential. My domain credentials. So and then I'm going to click click next. So if I check this box here, it's going to automatically start the process, the um, synchronization process. And if I want to be in to disable that, I can uncheck that and enable the staging mode. In this case, I'm going to start synchronization process. Click on install. It's going to take a few minutes, at least five to ten minutes. <clears throat> For now, I'm just going to pause the video. Then we'll come back. All right, look like the um, the process has been completed. I'm going to exit. Let's take a look at the process. I'm going to type in synchronization. Let me see here. I think it's called Azure. Sync S C H S Y and C. Here's the uh, synchronization service. I'm going to launch that as administrator. Looks like it has been successfully processed. Full, full synchronization success and the export is success at 124. So now I can log into my Azure portal, or Office 365 portal. Go to admin. Go to users, go to active users. So I should be able to see all my users are seeing from on-prem to the cloud. Let's look at one of my test machines, a uh, test users account, test three. Okay, look like it's been synced. As you can see here, sync type is 
sync from on-prems. Looks good here. Let's go to home. The last sync was two minutes ago. I don't have any errors. And if I go to Azure, go to Act Azure Active Directory. All right, let's go to our services. I'm in all services. So I click on Azure AD Connect. Look like the uh, sync status is enabled. Seamless sign on is enabled. One domain, path through authentication, one agent. One agent means the uh, path through authentication is agent is installed on one machine. If I want to install additional agent on a different server, so I just have to go pass through authentication here, click here, and then click download, except in terms condition. So it's going to download the path through authentication client. So with this MSI, you can install it on as many servers as you want. Yep, that's it. So that's how you install Azure AD Connect with Path Through Authentication Configuration. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment on the video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate you watching the video. Have a good day. Thank you.